Hello everyone and I'm Dr. Rashmi Sarkar and I'm a senior professor in dermatology from New Delhi and well my special interest is in pigmentary disorders with a special interest of course on hyperpigmentary conditions. So what I'm going to focus now is on cosmetic camouflage in different indications which is really important. This is something on which more work is required and we do need better and better products for this. And I definitely like to thank our technical partners that is DocMode and they have brought it along with an educational initiative and a grant that is from Zytus. Well, pigmentary disorders can definitely be camouflaged by applying an opaque cosmetic that hides the underlying skin hues. Camouflage techniques can be useful to conceal both congenital or acquired lesions in patients who have failed to achieve satisfactory results with skin treatments. That is all kinds of treatment, whether topical or systemic medical treatment or even surgical treatment. Furthermore, it is very difficult to eliminate the uneven pigmentation, especially in hypermelanotic disorders accompanied by melanophages in the dermis, such as dermal and mixed melasma. Well, in such patients, Camouflaging uneven pigmentation can be achieved with corrective cosmetics and that is camouflage. Pigmentations like cafe au lait spots, dark circles of the eyes which can give a very tired and haggard appearance and tattoos, raised lesions and even scars can give good results on camouflage. The products used are not only waterproof, opaque, but nowadays also provide sun protection to shield against the aging or the photo damage and decrease inflammation. This is because they have added inorganic sunscreens also added to them to a certain extent. Several cosmetic brands offer pigmented foundations and concealers that may even skin complexion and may also include broad spectrum UV blockers. In fact, in many repeated randomized control studies, a comparison of broad spectrum UVA and UV filters combined with visible light blockers such as iron oxide versus broad spectrum UV filters alone show reduced melasma relapses in the former group. Clinically good results have been seen in also cases of vitiligo, melasma, solar lentigo, nevi, lentiginous, post-inflammatory hypopigmentation and even melasma-like hyperpigmentation. Corrective cosmetics rapidly enhance quality of life by improving the skin appearance. They are reported to have high satisfaction rates and furthermore, they should be readily available while being safe and also inexpensive. So these are some qualities of a good camouflage agent in pigmentary disorders. Thank you very much.